Pre-workouts, I have dabbled with them in the past and since reading June's latest edition of Mass, which looked into caffeine's effect on strength, it may be time to purchase another tub. Previous research has shown that caffeine decreases effort perception and aids fatigue resistance, along with increasing power output and reps to failure. In this particular study, we had eight young women with one to two years strength training experience. The four measurements taken were one RM strength in the pull down, hack squat and bench press and reps to failure in the knee extension using a drop set. All participants carried out the four tests at four different time points in fixed order over four weeks. On week one, they tested 1RM strength and reps to failure without any caffeine. Week two, they tested 1RM strength and reps to failure after consuming 6 meg of caffeine. On week three, they tested 1RM strength and reps to failure after consuming a placebo. Week four was a repeat of week two. Here we have the results covering all four conditions. We see the bench press was significantly higher in both caffeine trials along with knee extension reps to failure. One notable occurrence was the effect of caffeine on 1RM strength in the hack squat. It had the largest increase in strength, perhaps due to the lower body movements being overall harder than upper body movements. Thus, our previous study on reduction in perception of effort comes into play. In summary, caffeine can potentially boost 1RM strength from reps to failure, especially on lower body exercises. In terms of dosages, you should be taking between 3 and 6 meg of caffeine per kilogram of body weight. I would recommend assessing tolerance of 3 meg per kilogram to start with. To conclude, if we interpret some of the results in this particular study, the lack of familiarization may have played a part. The subjects had one to two years worth of strength training experience granted. We don't know how they trained or if they implemented any of the exercises given in this particular study. But researchers did suggest that if that was the case, we'd see a more linear growth in progression over the four weeks. We had drop-offs when we implemented the placebo and reinstated the caffeine in the final week. We saw another increase, especially in the 1RM hack squat. Based on this study alone, do I think we should all go out and purchase pretty little package pre-workouts that are, in my opinion, slightly overpriced? No, I don't. I think if you want to implement some caffeine, go down the AJ Morris route of some black coffee, yeah be much easier on the wallet i also feel that if you are an individual that needs caffeine or needs a pre-workout to become motivated and get geared up for a session then you need to readjust and have a look at your training and nutrition overall i'm on week four week five as of monday of off season and my strength has increased 2.5 kilos on each rotation I'm taking pre-workout Weetos, 50 to 75 grams to be exact, and if I'm tired, I'll have a 15 to 20 minute nap. Introducing caffeine may be a very beneficial role if you are currently in a strength gaining phase and you've hit a plateau, then go for it. But I myself, based on this study, I'm not gonna be implementing any caffeine. I might do if it gets to the stage where I need it, but not as of yet. If you like these style videos, then give a comment and a thumbs up. And if you've got any topics in future that you want me to cover in this more scientific one-to-one -one podcast mic type setup, then do so. I love you all very dearly. I'll see you soon.